Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. So, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we are from Group Two, and in, the, in this occasion, we would like to presentation uh, our discussion about Chapter Four, the Income Statement and Related Information. Before we get started, let us introduce ourselves. I am Tahun Najafarazila. I'm Sabina Umaira. And I am Amal Mamadikra. And for the learning objective one, it will be presented by me. Identify the uses and limitation of an income statement. So the income statement uh, provides investor and creditor with information that helps them predict the, the amounts, timing, and uncertainty of future cash flows. Also, the income statement helps users uh, determine the risk or level of uncertainty of not achieving particular cash flow. And, useful, and there is also usefulness of the income statement. Uh, the first one is evaluate the past uh, performance of the company and the second one is provide a basis for predicting future performance and the third one is help assess the risk or uncertainty of achieving future cash flow and for the next uh, the limitation of an income statement uh, the are as follows the first one is the statement does not uh, include many items that contribute to general growth and well-being of company for example, uh, a company might not record in, uh, income and realize gain and losses on certain investment security when uh, there is uncertainty that it will ever realize the changes in value. And the second one is the income numbers are of 10 affected by the accounting method used. And the third one is income measures are subject to estimates. For example, one company in good faith may estimate the useful life on asset uh, to be 20 years, uh, while another company uses uh, a 15 years estimate for the same type of asset. And for the learning objective two, it will be presented by uh, Salwa. So Salwa, time is yours. Uh, hello, every he hello everyone, my name is Sawarai Satusna. Now we have learning objective 2 that is describe the content of for and format of the income statement. Um, the elements of the income statement. Uh, based on the element of the income statement, we use transaction approach as income measurement method that focuses on the income related activities that have occurred during the period. Um, the elements of the income statement divided by two major elements. The first one is income, and the income uh, will be divided by two uh, revenues and gains. Uh, so, what income is? Income is increases in assets or decreases in liabilities that result in increases in equity, other than those relating to contribution from holders of equity claims. Uh, First is revenues. Uh, revenues is uh, from ordinary activities uh, like sale, um, fees, interest, dividends, and rents. Uh, on the other hand, we have gains. Uh, may or may not ordinary activities. Uh, may ordinary activities like uh, gains on the sale of long-term assets. Uh, if uh, you sell uh, your long-term asset and it's over the is um, the book value uh, is uh, smaller than the sale, uh, it names gains. And the next one is uh, may not ordinary activities like uh, loses uh, like uh, gains of on trading securities. Next. Uh, the second one is expenses. Uh, expenses is decrease in assets or increase in liabilities that result increase in equity other than those relating to distribution to holders of equity claims. Um, uh, just like income, expenses will be divided by two, loses and expenses. Uh, what is loses? Uh, loses may or may not ordinary activities, just like uh, income, uh, but uh, a little bit different. 
uh, losses include losses on restructuring charge, losses related to sale of long-term assets, or unrealized, unrealized losses on trading securities. And the second one is expense. Expense um, is a cost from ordinary activities. Uh, ordinary activities like uh, cost of goods sold, uh, depreciation, rent, service and wages, and also taxes. Uh, so how these uh, elements related to decision making? Uh, we cannot over emphasize that importance of uh, reporting these elements. Most decision makers find uh, the parts of a financial statement to be more useful than the whole. Uh, as we indicated earlier, investors and creditors are interested in predicting the amounts, taming uh, uh, an uncertainty of the future income and cash flow. Having income statement elements shown in some detail and in comparison with prior years that allows decision makers to better assess future income and also the cash flow. Uh, next. Uh, this is the element of the income statement. Uh, I will build, I will give the simple uh, definition and the detail will be in the next learning objective. The first one is sales or revenue section. Uh, present sales, discounts, allowances, returns, and other related information. Second one is uh, cost of goods sec sold section. Uh, we also have a uh, gross profit, uh, revenue, less cost of goods sold. Cost of goods sold is uh, show the cost of goods sold to produce the sales. Uh, third, selling expenses, report expenses resulting from the company, company's effort to make sales. Administrative or general expenses, uh, report expenses of general administration, and five, other income and expense. Include most other transactions that do not fit uh, into the revenues and expenses category uh, provided above. Uh, we also have income from operation, the company's result from normal operations. Six, financing costs, a separate item that identifies the financing costs of the company, uh, income before income tax, the total income before income tax, and also income tax, a short section reporting taxes levied on income before income tax, and income from continuum operations, a company's result before any gain or loss or discontinued operation. If the company doesn't have any gain or loss on discontinued operations, this section is not reported. Uh, eight, discontinued operation, gain or losses uh, resulting from the disposition of a component of a company. And net income, uh, the net result performance over a period of time, non-controlling interest, and also earning per share. Um, the last is con condensed uh, income statement. Uh, in some cases, an income statement cannot possibly present all the desired expenses detail. Um, so a company includes only the total of components in the statements of income. Uh, it then also prepares supplementary schedules to support the totals. This format may reduce the income statement itself into just a few lines. And for this reason, readers wish to study all the reported da data on operations must give their attention uh, to the supporting schedules. Uh, that's all from me. Uh, to the learning tree will be presented by Sabina. Okay, I'm Sabina. I will present that about learning tree about how to report various income items. The first one is gross profit. The company's gross profit is computed by deducting the cost of goods sold from net sales. The reporting of gross profit provides a useful number for evaluating performance and predicting future earnings. Statement readers may study the trend in gross profit to understand how competitive pressure affected profit margins. Next, uh, this is income from operation. There are two two type of expense classification. The first one is nature of expense method. It is simple to apply because allocation of expense to different functions are not necessary. It is permits companies to report expense without making arbitrary allocation. The second one is function of expense method. Presentation are communication tools that can be used as demonstration, lecture, reports, and more. Next. 
This is gain and loss. Companies report gains and losses and correction of revenues and re expense of prior years. Companies first present them in the income statement and then carry them to retain earnings. Next, income before income tax. Companies must report their financing costs on the income statement. The reason for this requirement to differentiate between a company's business activities. Uh, net, uh, this is net income. Net income represents the income after all revenues and expense for the period are considered. It is, it is viewed by many as the most important measure of a company's success or failure for a given period of time. Uh, this is earning per share, and this is the formula of earning per share. Earning per share is net income minus preference dividends and divided by the wage average of ordinary shares outstanding. Next. And then this continued operation. A discontinued operation is a component of an entity that either has been disposed of or is classified as held for sale. Companies report a discontinued operation to gain or loss from disposal of a component of a business. In addition, companies report the result of operation of a component that has been or will be disposed of separately from continuing operation. Alas, this intra-period tax allocation. Companies report discontinued operation on the income statement net of tax. The allocation of the tax to these items is called intra-period tax allocation. That's all from me. The next pre presentation will be presented by Amar. Okay, hello everyone. Uh, I'm Amar Muhammad Zikra and I'm from group 2 and I will uh, present it by learning uh, for and the learning form talking about explain the reporting of accounting changes and errors. Okay, for the first, we will talking about ch changes in accounting principle. Changes in accounting occur frequently in practice because important even or a condition may be in dispute or uncertain at the statement date. One type of accounting changes uh, result uh, when a company adopt a different uh, accounting principle. Changes in accounting principle include a change in the method of inventory pricing from FIFO to average cost or the changes from ex an exciting accounting principle to a new accounting principle. <coughs> Okay, so uh, to illustrate, uh, for example, like uh, Gilbert Inns, uh, or which began operation in 2020, decided in March uh, 2020 to change from FIFO method to weighted average method, uh, inventory pricing, uh, government income before income tax using the new weighted average method in 2020 is uh, $30,000. Uh, $30, Present the pre-tax uh, income that uh, for 2020 and 2024 one, uh, for, this, for example, like this one. Actually, uh, people matter more than uh, superior uh, than uh, weighted uh, average uh, methods. For example, like this, uh, Vivo method has uh, the income uh, income before tax is more than high uh, than uh, weighted average methods. And next, and the next. The next, uh, it is talking about changes in accounting estimates. Changes in accounting estimates are inherent in the accounting process. Example, companies estimate useful life uh, and residual value of despre despre depreciable assets, un uncollectible receivable inventory obsolescence, and the number of periods expected to benefit from a particular expenditure. Not, in, not infrequently due to the passage of time, circumstance, or new information, if an estimate originally made in good faith must be changed. Uh, and the last is talking about a uh, correction of error. Error occur, occur as a result of mathematical mistakes. Mistake in the application of accounting principle or oversight or misuse of facts that excited at the time. Financial statement will prepare uh, the error involved uh, involve such a time as impro improper reporting of revenue. Accounting for share options. Allowance of our receivable inventories and other provisions. Correction of error uh, are treated 
uh, as a prior prior period adjustment, similar to changes in accounting principle. Okay, that all uh, for me and uh, the next presentation uh, we will present by Mutia. To Mutia, thank is yours. Uh, hello everyone, my name is Mutia Intan Permata. I will explain about uh, learning objective 5, describe related equity statements. The first one is retained earnings statement. Net income increases retained earnings, and net loss decreases retained earnings. Both cash and share dividends decreases retained earnings. Next slide, please. Restrictions of retained earnings. Companies restrict or retained earnings to comply with contractual requirements, board of directors, policy, or current necessity. The The retained earnings section may therefore report to separate amount. The first one, retained earning free. And the second one is retained earning appropriated or restricted. Next slide, please. Comprehensive income statements. Comprehensive income includes all changes in equity during a period except those resulting from investments by owners and distributions to owners. Comprehensive income therefore includes the following all revenues and gains, expenses and losses reported in net income, and all gains and losses that bypass net income but affect equity. These items, non owner changes in equity that bypass the income statements, are referred uh, to as other comprehensive income. Next. Companies must display the components of other comprehensive income in one of two ways. The first one, one statement approach. The traditional net income is a subtotal, with the total in comprehensive income shown as a final total. The second one, two statement approach. Reporting comprehensive income in a separate statement indicates that the gains on and losses identified as other comprehensive income have the same status as traditional gains and losses. Next. Statement of changes in equity. In addition to a statement of comprehensive income, companies are also required to present a statement of changes in equity. Equity is generally Comprised of share capital, ordinary share premium, ordinary. Retained earnings and the accumulated balances in other comprehensive income. Next. The following items are disclosed in this statement. The first one, accumulated other comprehensive income for the period. The second one, contributions or issuances of shares and distributions or dividends to owners. The third one, con reconciliation of the carrying, carrying amount of each component of equity from the beginning to the end of the period. Next. That's all the material from us. The, I will bring back this presentation to the moderator. Uh, so thank you uh, to all the members and also thank you for your attention. Uh, I hope this presentation has given us a new insight on the topic about income statement and related information. Assalamualaikum uh, warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.